Hey fam, Chi Chi here. Welcome back. Now that it is officially fall, I'm going to be sharing my fragrances that I will be reaching for this fall season. Some of these you may see again in winter. I ain't even going front, but I'm excited. Everybody's excited for fall because it's one word, gourmand, cozy, and well, maybe that's three words, obviously, but that's always the vibes that we go for in the fall and it's just really amped up during this season. So I'm happy to share, you know, the, my favorite picks in my collection. But if you're new here, hey, I'm Chi Chi and I talk about all things lavish, but logical. So if that's your sort of thing, go ahead, subscribe, make some friends in the comment section and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Y'all know I live in Jersey, so we're in that season of hello summer, fall is that you like very transitional so I figured Amouage Sunshine is kind of the perfect representation of it this is a tobacco fragrance with a little bit of honey it's a white tobacco if I'm not mistaken but she's got a little sweetness to it you know she's not super super heavy so I feel like this is a really nice way to welcome in that fall you know, vibe, you know, cozy, but still a little sweet, you know? So I really do like this one. And honestly, the bottle kind of represents it because it's not like this bright, bright yellow, a little bit more toned down. It's like literally the perfect color of the leaves changing. And I feel like this is that perfect leaves finally falling on the floor kind of fragrance. So Amouage, I'll definitely be rocking this one. Another tobacco fragrance that I'm excited to wear is Kaoli's Invite Only. A lot of people really don't like this, but I do. And it was funny that I did like it because it is tobacco, but it's, again, it's sweet tobacco. Not as sweet as a Sunshine, but it's got a little sexiness to it, maybe because of the amber as well. I really, really like this fragrance and I definitely love layering this with a cherry fragrance. You know, I'm gonna go with that uh, love fest. You already know. But I really, really, really enjoy this fragrance. I really do. It's, it's not super sweet. I still get tobacco. I'm really shocked that I even like this fragrance but it does something for me. And I just think fall when I smell this. And yeah, I'm, I'm ready to wear her. I mean, since we're talking about tobacco, we might as well go ahead and talk about cherry. Tom Ford Lost Cherry Boozy Liqueur goodness. <laughs> like, I, like, I think of fall when I get this. Like, you, like, you have that, is this overpriced? Absolutely, but there's nothing quite like Lost Cherry. To me, it's not too medicinal. It's just a oh, good time. It's a good time. And then when you layer it with tobacco fragrances, it's just like on a whole nother level. And it's just like, you're really doing a big one with that. But Lost Cherry is, it's fall for me. It's, Mm. it's that damn cherry it's that damn cherry I know a lot of people don't like it I feel like people don't like it because of the price but lost cherry she's she's always gonna be a topper and I'm I'm not mad at it you a top baby BDK really shines in the fall for me so starting with Gris Charnel Gris Charnel is a beautiful rainy day scent you like it's a perfect scent to wear right now like right now it's raining and it's still cozy and it gets nice and warm and scrum deli umptious as you wear it you know off top i told y'all it smelled a little bit like dirt to me but once you get down to the base of it it truly is rainy day sensational goodness and I, I just love it. it. Like, say what you want about it. it. It's just one of those fragrances. Like, it just hits for me. The other BDK fragrance that just, mm, passe sloth. Passe sloth. Oh. Sparkly champagne. Mm. 
that is not what's in here, but that's the vibe it is. It's just like New York nights. It's it's sexy. It's a little spicy, but it's sweet. That quince. Oh. So elegant and beautiful, yet fun, mysterious, just that's what you want in the fall. And I feel like this is perfect when you're having those like sexy fall nights. This is what you want to throw on, like, but still have a little sparkle to you. I absolutely love Passe Soir. It's just, mm, I could go on about this one. She's, she's just different. You really think I wasn't gonna talk about Killian's angel share? Child, this is like the king of fall. King of cuddly, king of booze. Oh my God. This cinnamon booziness that just fills your soul is just un freaking matched. I always get excited to wear this one because it just is a whole behind vibe and you really can't go wrong with it. Men love it, women love it, children love it, aliens love it. It's just, oh, it's so, so good. If you don't like it, I am sorry for you because you're really missing out. But the way that the booze mix with the cinnamon, I want to say it's rum. The way the rum and the cinnamon mix with that vanilla and it gets cozy and, oh, oh my God. And that cinnamon on my skin lasts, baby. Like, I always get that little bit of spice and just, you know, <laughs> twitches my nose. But this is just cozy sweater. Just, oh my goodness. This, this, this one, 1000%, the king of fall. That's it. That's all I gotta say. Christian Dior Vanilla Diorama. Sweet, edible almost custardy but a little booze rummy a stunning fragrance one of my favorites from uh the dior line i don't have many nor have i sampled that many but oh i know <laughs> this one this one is a hit i know people either choose this or feb delicioso something child don't get me the line but I just really, really gravitate towards this one. It's something very sweet about it. I believe this was named after uh, Christian Dior's like favorite dessert. And it, it's totally that vibe. I'm just like, oh, I just wanna eat this. I wanna eat it so bad. Just, oh, it smells so good. Now, are you ready for a layering combination? Cause you know, mama likes a layering combinations. So I take Miss Christian Dior and <laughs> Killian's angel share. Ooh, child. Don't get don't get me started. Don't get me started. You want to smell all vanilla mini and warm and cuddly and cozy? Mix these two together. Like this isn't your typical vanilla. It's not like super strong. It's like literal like I can eat this. <laughs> like it's a dessert. If you want to smell like a dessert, mix these two together. Oh, pure dessert. This is my dessert combination. Like you get a little bit of the spice. They both have, I believe, rum in it. Like, hell, look at the juice. They they go together. They, they go together. But I typically lay Killian down first and then top it off with Vanilla Diorama. And then if you want to really take it to the next level, if you still have your Fenty um, body butter, uh, the cinnamon one, if you wanna bring out more of that spice, use it with the cinnamon. This is like my cinnamon toast crunch. Just, I didn't have to do that to myself, but I did and I thank me. <laughs> Next we have a Navitus Chocolate Queen. This was in collaboration with Gabby Loves Perfumes and this is pure Tootsie Roll for me. However, since my review, that Irish cream crept up to the top and top of my nose and now I just can't get enough of this fragrance. 
oh my god i just want to bite you I take a nice little chunk out of it it's oh mm -hmm. like it's not super milky oh god damn it's not like milk chocolatey but it's literally the smell of a bag of tootsie rolls like oh, an irish cream it's so good it's so edible it's been sitting in the corner chilling like put me in coach i had sprayed it recently and i wore it cha i ended up wearing this three days in a row <laughs> she got me she got me and i was happy to get got yeah this one you definitely have to let sit because now she is purring Purr, purring and it's so good it's so yummy just not a, like please don't think milk chocolate because it's definitely not milk chocolate but mm, delectable this next one i'm not excited to wear it per se but it's something that i want to like take note of and be like listen you need to be used and that is house of siage tiara here's the thing with me and tiara first off I can't put this lid on because if I put the lid on, it's going to take me seven to 10 business days just to get the damn thing off. So that's why I haven't reached for it. But this is one that I remember liking. It's pretty, like, but because it this cap is so hard to take off, I just don't be reaching for it. And I do feel like this is more of a fall scent. She's kind, she's gentle, you know? But she's uh, got a little mystery to her. And that's why I, I really want to make an effort to use her. Because it's like, I don't use her at all. But um, we're, we're gonna make a, a effort. And fuck, I just put the cap on. <laughs> well, we're here now. I'm gonna make a good effort to use her. And hopefully I can fall in love with her. You know, she's been sitting for a year now. And, um, you know, I'm able, hopefully the juice has gotten more intense. It almost reminds me of Jean-Paul Gaultier's La Belle, but a lighter version of it. But, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a look towards you. I'm gonna pass you the ball. Hopefully you can score some points. But this is my pick. I try to pick something that I normally don't reach for as well. So I'm like, okay, girl, you got to use it or they got to go. So she, she, she she's got to do some things. <laughs> Lastly, we have Prada Paradox. Oh my God. This is just an absolute stunner. She has beautiful sillage. She projects real well off my skin to the point where I don't even smell her, but people around me are like, yo, what are you wearing? She is sexy. She's classy. She has fun. Just, oh my goodness. I know they just came out with the intense version. Baby, I'm sticking with the OG for it right now, but I'm so excited to wear this because it is just like, Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I really, really love her. It's just, oh, like I, I, I start smelling her and then I can't put her down. But those are my top picks. Let me know in the comment section what you'll be smelling like this fall season. Check out some of my other videos and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.